What about making your sound better? Let's make first the wave table, and for that I want to load up a basic shapes. Click on this little pencil icon to go into the wave table editor and click on morph, spectral morph. And what I want to use here is this shape. On oscillator B, let's load the same wave table, and I want to use this PVM and let's FM oscillator A using oscillator B. But we don't want oscillator B output volume, so pull it back to zero and use LD41 on FM to make some movement to it. But let's pull back the movement to about two bars on LD41. I think I will go for it and also I want to filter the very highs because we don't want this sharp wave table because we are going to FM the wave table what we just made in the next step click on menu and resample to oscillator A from now we don't want the filter and oscillator B and the sound itself should look like this And to polish this wavetable, let's go to the wavetable editor and process X fade edges based on the grid size. Right now we don't have those clicks and pops when we go through the wavetable. Click on oscillator B and let's choose a simple side wave from the basic shapes wavetable what we loaded previously. And let's choose FM from oscillator A on oscillator B warp mode and let's push it up. But right now flip the volume level so I'm going out oscillator B and I don't want to let oscillator A go out so pull back the volume to zero. Let's use LE41 but change the curves to around this shape and drop it on the level of oscillator B. So with this move we made a wobble effect for the sound. Okay, let's add the filter HP12. So push up the resonance to about, I don't know, 12 o'clock. The second frequency is a peak, as you can see here, HP, which represents a high pace filter and a peak filter at the same time. To so around this position, the high pace filter should start around here. And right now, let's add the same LE4 to so the cutoff, pull back the modulation range to around 24, put the same LE4 on the peak and set the range to about minus 16, and add some dry to it. But let's change the routings to oscillate. B. And now it sounds this. First I want to add the distortion, push out the drive to maximum, let's activate the hyper dimension, but pull back the hyper mix to around 10% and push up the mix on the dimension expander, but we want a smaller size so pull it back. The next step is the flanger, we don't want any movement, we want to make the move on the flanger effect based on the LFO, set the depth to 30% and the feedback to around 30% again, and let's use LFO to modulate flanger depth. And again, the mix knob should be modulated by LFO1. <laughs> Let's continue adding a phaser. We don't want any movement on the phaser built in LFO, so let's drop it LFO 1 on the mix and set the range to about 70% and pull back the depth to about 30, the frequency around 200Hz and we don't want that much feedback. So right now it sounds this. Okay, and now the magic happens when I activate the multiband compressors. Push up the ratio till it goes out to limit mode, as you can see here, and the threshold should be pulled back a little. Also, let's fine-tune the low band to add some more bass. The next one is an EQ and I want to add a little peak, what I'm going to modulate again using LD41, so drop it on the frequency of this little peak and set the range to about 50. And let's add back some highs using LD41, but we want a unipolar modulation, so let's pull it back to about 20. And the last magical step to make this sound even more dubstepy is to go back to oscillator A and push up the octaves on oscillator A. So this is how our final bass sounds. Yeah, 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 yeah.